how to add products to your collection in Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add products within your Shopify collection. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm over here on my Shopify dashboard. So I'm over here on my Shopify dashboard, right? So this is how it looks like. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and continue to add some products within this uh, Shopify store. So before we do that, we need to create a collection. So come over here onto products, right? And when you click on the products on the left side, you will see you have some drop down menu. And within that drop down menu, you will see a collection. So simply click on the collection option and then you will see your collections over here. So first, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to go ahead and delete these collections that I already had, right? This is just home page. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on create a new collection. And over here, I'm going to add the name for this collection. So, so in this, we're just simply going to go ahead and name this collection. So for this one, I'll just say, um, you know, uh, the starter collection or, you know, like um most popular or whatever most i'll just say most popular and then in the description uh, you can write whatever description of that uh, collection is you know like i'll just say this is a simple collection of the most popular items in this uh, website and then you can scroll down and you will see you have collection type so if you choose manual you can add products to this manually by one by one or if you want to go in automated you just simply have to click on the automated and you have to, you know, add existing and future products that match the conditions you will set automatically. So if you click on this one, then you can choose the condition. So all condition, any condition. So product tag, right? You can add different tags is equal to, uh, let's say, um, popular. So you can add this tag to the popular products or items that you have and then as soon as that tag is applied on those items they will automatically be added into your shopify store so pretty much that's it then you can go ahead and save it right and your collection will be saved then you can go ahead and view this collection over here so as you can see most popular collection now let's go ahead and add some products so to add products there are basically two ways to add products first is the manual way what you will do is just simply click on add product right and what I'll do, and I already have these products, right? So these shirts, uh, no, wait, they're over here. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll just simply choose these images. So like this one and this one, and I'll add them over here. I'll just simply drag and drop these images in the media section right over here. And I'll just say, this is like a blue polka dot, sh you know, dress. So yeah, something like this, you know, blue polka dot dress, right? I'll just remove that. And then in the description, you can write any description of the product. And then this is a draft product for now. And then you can set the price. So I'll just say like, this is worth like $50 or $20. So that's like, you know, um, that's like 10,000 rupees in my currency. All right. Compare at prices or what? So over here, this will be the original price. You can set like the original price. So let's say that the original price is around 6,000. So, oh, that's 60,000, sorry. 6,000 and 10,000 is the price that we're setting and cost per item. You can add this. So I'll just say like 5,000. So profit margin is 50-50. And then you can add like an SKU number so that they can, you know, track the item. All right. So continue selling with even when out of stocks no we don't want that then you can add like available location so i'll just say like one location and the weight is going to be 0 0.5 kilograms maybe like one kilogram but i don't know and then the country slash region of this product so we'll just say united states here we go and then we are good to go then all you got to do is just simply click on the save button right here and you can add some more details of the product you know keep it a little bit more in depth but yeah generally this is how it looks like now we can go ahead and add like a tag so over here we can add a tag so we'll just say popular and we'll just add the tag there we go and then we'll just simply click on save now we have set the tag and we have created a product so let's go ahead and see if it is you know present within the collection so within the collection there you go automatically it has been added as you can see it's pretty simple right now 
the second way you can add a product is to you know go ahead and use it as a drop shipping op application so go into the app store over here and over here you will find this application called users you just simply install it i just you know opened it up in another tab over here you install this application and you use it to import different items from aliexpress and you can you know import them within your own store and you can start selling them so it's pretty simple let me just show you so right now i'm just simply going to go ahead and install the application right here so i'm just simply going to go ahead and continue with the free plan i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so now i'm logged in so this is how it looks like right so it's pretty simple you just find the product that you like so for example like this dress all you'd have to do was just simply you know supplier over here or you know just add to import list so i'll just simply add it to import list all right and we're good to go same thing with this one over here we'll add that to the import list as well with other items as well now this is not just over here you can go over to aliexpress itself over here on aliexpress if you go over to the main site and you just simply find the product that you're looking for right so over here let me just see so let's just assume that uh this is a product that we want like this cap or maybe like these pants so we'll just simply click on these products right like these jogger pants and we'll just simply copy the link of this product go back to the supplier and click on import list and we'll just simply paste the product over here and click on ok and then that way we can directly import the product next all we got to do is just simply push it to our shopify store all right now uh i don't think that my shopify store is connected let me just see actually it is connected so then i just simply click on push to shopify and then my product is going to be pushed over to shopify store so let's just wait for that to be pushed over there there we go that's being pushed over there you can even check on this box to immediately you know select all the products and then you can import them at the same time instead of just you know importing them one by one so it's still importing and once it's done importing you can go to your shopify store and check so if i come over here and i click on the products you will see we have a bunch of different other products as well so it's pretty simple and then if you want you can you know click on this product you can change the name and the images of the product and then you can add the tag that you have set to you know put into the collections you can add like a summer tag or a you know specific tag for your own you know products and then all the products when you apply those tags to those products all those products will be automatically transferred to that collection over here so it's pretty simple so that's how you do it that's how you add different products to your shopify store so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye